Let us talk about satire. And welcome back to Invictus Channel. You can follow me also on the Facebook. You can follow me also on Facebook. Let's talk about satire. Satire is a form of criticism about certain actions which are not morally binding in a society. And so we want to see what are those things that hence bearers that arises in uh, racing in the sun. She satirizes racism in the south, which is characterized by lack of empowerment, poverty, and dehumanization. Blacks don't have the right to ownership. They work as slaves to their white masters. Blacks do not have the liberty to do the liberty that every human being is supposed to have. They do not go to school. And so most of them are illiterate. The racism in the South is so open and short. It is a way of life. Although that in the north is slightly different, it is under the carpet, but yet it exists. First of all, in the north, the whites want blacks to gain education, behave and think like them, just like Booker T. Washington, just like George Murchison. Who laughs at Benieta's interest in wanting to find out about her cultural identity? In short, he minimizes everything about African history, its peoples, and its culture, highlighting assimilationism. Blacks are relegated to live in poor neighborhoods like Chicago South Side in apartment buildings which are not very, very comfortable. The younger apartment has cracks with cockroaches everywhere. Benetta even says, I saw one of the cockroaches marching out like Napoleon. The accommodation facilities are inadequate for family members. Yet, even blacks who have worked so hard can't have the decency to choose where they want to live, where they want to buy a house to live comfortably. The white community at Clyburn Park have reserved this area totally for black folk, I mean for white folks, and they will not allow any other community to step foot there. If they do, they will be kicked out. Highlighting social, racial discrimination. She also satirizes female subjugation. Women, especially black women, are still ascribed to remain in the traditional role that is ascribed to women, which is that of Taking care of the house, taking care of the family, taking care of the family chores. Walter looks down on Benita's dream of wanting to become a medical doctor. He wants her to become a nurse, like every other woman who wants to get into venture to the medical field. Or better still, let her get married. She sees her education as skirting into the family money and taking a huge chunk, which he would have used for his investment. And even when he puts his investment plan in his head, Benieta is not part of it. In the same way, Judge Murchison does not support Benieta's sexual identity and has strong views about society. No wonder Benetta considers him to be very shallow 
and does not even seem him fit to be husband material. Even when Mama and Ruth insinuate that he can make a better husband, Benetta sees it the other way. Hemsbury also satirizes assimilationism, the use of Western education to make African girls and boys to reason like whites, to integrate them into the main white culture. This is done through fashion, as George Murchinson and the other black boys wear white shoes, typical of college students. Women straighten their hair to look white, and Asagai condemns this, pushing Benita to adopt a new hairstyle. She keeps her hair low and keeps it natural, which George does not approve of. But she is less concerned about what George thinks about her new look. Benita also decides to take special interest in African history, in African civilization, and in African personalities. Because she is searching for her true identity. On the other hand, Judge Murchison's knowledge about Africa is limited to the fact that it is a place made of earths, which is, of course, an assimilationist way of looking at life. Hemsbury also satirizes the prejudices against the black race. The Western media has always presented the African continent as a continent of barbarian and savages, a dark continent, a continent without a civilization. They have only presented Africa to their Western viewers from the point of view or the light of Tarzan with a misleading idea that Africans don't even wear dresses. They live in herds and everywhere is covered with the jungle. Many also know that Africa is a place where there is a lot of paganism, have no religion. And Mama even says it, that she would have used that money to give it to the church so that they can spread the gospel to Africa. Because that is the impression that the Western media has given to Western viewers, that Africa is a place without a civilization. Oh, no wonder Benita gets fascinated when she starts reading about black history, culture, civilization, and its personalities. When she becomes fascinated with people like Shaka Zulu, Sondiata, the Mali Empire, and its rich cultural heritage. Trying to search for a cultural identity. She proudly wears her dresses, which have been brought from Nigeria by a saga. And she feels like she has just left Africa a few years ago. Asaka tells her that he wants to get married to her and take her to Nigeria, where they can help the community to develop it. And she will feel like an African princess who had not been away of home for long. In the same place, she performs a ritual dance in her African traditional regalia, welcoming back hunters to the village to tell you that she has started having an identity. She was suffering from an identity crisis, but yet now she can understand where she rightly comes from. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Invictus Forum. You can also follow me on Facebook, Invictus Forum on Facebook. Like the videos, share the videos with other students so that we can prepare adequately for the GC 2024, leave us a comment and like the videos when you watch them. Thank you.